I am sure it will. Now, if I ask you for tobacco under no circumstances, you'll be able to let me have it, OK? Understood. Doesn't matter how much I want it. Doesn't matter how much you want it. I've not to get it. You've not to get it. Begging, pleading, shouting and bawling, doing on my knees and everything, I have not to get tobacco. No tobacco. Yeah. OK. See you later. I'll take a packet of tobacco. <laughs> now, Vite! Come on, Jack, seal's a seal. Ah, oh, you big seal. bastard, you. <laughs> You'll always be here for you, Jack. <laughs> Hello, what's the crap? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We're back again. It's that time again. Still game, season three, episode six. Best show ever made in Scotland. In my opinion, in my opinion, let me know if it's another better shows. But in my opinion, funniest comedy show from Scotland has to be still game. Season three, episode six. Let's go. Smashing. Smashing I oh, Winston. Oh, poor guy. Right then, let's get a look at you. Oh no, 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 not good. Not good at all. Aye, not good. Not good at all. It's all in the chest. Listen. <laughs> I'm just going to have a lie down on the couch with a wee hot water bottle. Yes, John. Bye. <laughs> ah, that'll give the bastard something to think about. That's bad what? news, that. What's bad news? Make note you're at death's door and there's he haw rang with you. And him away out there worried sick. <laughs> That's a buggery. He called last month there when I had the flu. Should I was bad with it, Jack? Aye. And he gives it on the phone. Look, it's probably just a cold, Dad. Uh, take a couple of aspirins and away to your bed. Mm. Aye, that's right. Uh, see, that's you clamp now, cos you know what he's like. He's a he's an uncaring bastard. That's enough now. Do you know he was out there at the phone? What? Oh, oh I don't know, Dad. We'll probably not get a holiday this year. We're too busy. Which I know to be a lot of pish, because the grand... Again, I feel like this is part of a steel game that I absolutely love. This, this is, this is a lesson here, and this has to relate to me a lot. I care so much about, about my parents, you know, I try to see my parents as much as I can. I'm actually going to Dubai with them in two, three days. Yeah, we're going to Dubai. Oof, can't wait. Family holiday. But yeah, what I was trying to say is the fact that I care so much about my parents, but I don't call them as much as I should be calling them. I call them a lot, but I feel like I, sh I can be doing it more. And I've realised it's only, let's say, if my mum is not feeling a little bit well, that I'm like, oh my God, I call her way, way more. So I do get where Victor's coming from. Sometimes you have to like let the kids know, like, look, it's not gonna be all rosy every single time. So it's it's tough. It's not it's not good, but sometimes we need a push as human beings to realize how people mean to us. How people mean to us, how much they mean to us. You know what I mean? Do you guys get where I'm coming from? I hope you do. If you don't, you're pumped. Sorry. Grand Wayne let slip to me that they're they're going to have mods for a fortnight in the hang me. Uh, uh, run corn. I mean, that's only just doing the road. Yes, you're quite right, Victor. You have indeed been treated shoddily. Nay, shitily. If I were you, <laughs> I would contact my city solicitor and inform them that my dead millions will not be passed on to the natural son, John, millions. but awarded in its totality to the cat and dog home. He shall suffer for his lack of concern by receiving not a curdy of my millions and none of my stuff. Surely he'll be expecting to be bequeathed the side plate of Blackpool. Nor will he ever <laughs> clap eyes on the tea towel of Balloch. <laughs> oh, Peg, how'd you get on? Fantastic. She was that accurate. Oh, what'd you tell you? I'm coming into money. Aye. I'm going to get a holiday. After have to worry less. Oh. <laughs> and I've got a big change coming. Oh, that's great news. Hint it me now. Good for you, Peggy. Hi. Next. Oh, jeez. That's me. <laughs> Is he a psychic uh, Leave your scampi on the table, hen. If anyone in my tent, honk to it. OK. <laughs> oh, dear. So what's a scampi? 
It's not like some kind of chips with some kind of. I'm getting some Scottish meal. What is what's what saying this can't be? Please do let me know down below. Thank you. First, no Long John Silver. If I was Long John Silver, you'd be first to walk the plank, you wank. Oh. <laughs> Tom, Eric, what's wrong with you? Fitz Loughton. I can barely stun on it. Is it a bunion or something? No, it's not a bunion. Here, wait till I show you. Whoa, you <laughs> bastard. What is that? Put your slipper back on. I'm going to give you the book. Mm. I'm seeing the doctor in the morning. He's going to give me something for it. Uh, a hacksaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a joy to be old. That's not getting better. That's finished. Tell you what, though. When it drops off next week, I'll give you a tenner. We'll stick it behind the bar as a attraction. <laughs> Shut up, Bobby. I'm in agony here. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's a scampy in tarot night. £2.50. Peggy organised it. What's tarot? Kerbs. Mm. Looking in the future and that. Apparently she's very, very good. What a sight! <laughs> <laughs> Whiskey, Bobby. Hey, uh, what happened there? Uh, just didn't like her reading. Well, what did you tell her? Tell her she was going to get knocked down by a motor next Thursday. <laughs> what did you tell her that for? That's what is said in the cards. Ella, you're here for entertainment. No telling they're going to snuff it. I don't believe in all, the, in all this site. Like, I try to believe in all the extraterrestrial. But if I see someone charging £2.50 to tell me my future, I'm not believing you. £2.50 £2 to tell me my future. You're taking a fucking piece, aren't you? I'm not believing that. Sorry. Sorry. Two po Nah. Mm. Bobby, the cards done a lie. Done a lie. Is there somebody here in pain? With a leg or a foot? He's my scampy. <laughs> That is a bit whiffy, isn't it? Aye, a wee bit. Do you smoke, Mr Ingram? No, no, not at all, son. I gave it up five years ago. Too dear, sure. How many would you say you smoked a day? Ten, fifteen, say eighty. Eighty? <laughs> right, well, I would say that could be the reason for your foot. I'm going to send you up to see a Dr Fletcher at the Royal. Get him to have a look at it. Is it that bad, is it? It's pretty bad. Bad enough to claim attendance allowance? Oh, yes, I would say so. I'll just have to fill out the form for the Social Security. Yes, you dancer! Now, listen, yeah. that's the number of the hospital. Can you get up there tomorrow? No problem, son. There's just one other person I've got to see first. I'm in the money, I'm in the money. I've got a gammy fit and it's worth an extra 40 quid a week in attendance allowance. <laughs> What are you looking so chipper about? Oh, the doctor says I've got extra social security causing my bad fit. So what are we? Jesus! What a bogan. Still haven't seen it. Who caused that? Years and years of smoking. Here. You might get lucky, Jack. You could be next. Cheerio, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back in ten minutes, fishing that out of there. Pish, that's me done with it. Pish. Jesus, I have known you a long, long time, and I have never seen you without that pipe. Ah, I know. You just got to watch, but you know. How's that? Well, they say that when you stop smoking, first thing that happens is the old weight shoots up. All right. Aye, right. something to do with the increase in appetite. That's a fact, eh? <laughs> That. You've got a message in your answer machine. I will retrieve that. Da, 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 da. Indeed you will not. Last time I had a message, you rubbed it out. That was oh, me. Oh, Mr Popular, that was about two bloody years ago. Have you not had a phone call since then? No. <laughs> You're just jealous because I've got a machine and I've got a message. Are you going to let us hear it or what? Right. You may retrieve the message now. Oh, shit. What? I've only went and rubbed it out. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> only kidding. Are right, you ready? I ready. OK. Hi, Dad, you know, in, um, maybe you're sleeping. 
Look, I hope you're feeling better. I'll uh, phone later. <laughs> there you are. There you are, boy. He's worried. Look, John calls me if I'm lucky Jeez. every six months. If my mum told me or my dad told me they're not feeling well, pff, like I'll start getting worried or oh, my anxiety will. Pff. Like I don't really get worried. I'm kind of, I'm usually I'm calm, calm, collected, and everything. You could tell me a celebrity died. I'm like, oh, that's life. But if, it, if something happens, if my, you know, my family start feeling a little bit pff, anxious, pff, I start, pff, like, but if I'm not feeling well, I wouldn't tell my parents, which they don't like. My mom doesn't like that. If I'm not feeling well, anything, I don't tell them until it's all, until it's all over. Cause I don't want to get you worried. My girlfriend only tells, or she always tells me, if something is wrong with me and I don't tell her, she would be mad at me. Obviously, cause they care so much that they just want to be, but I'm like, I don't want to worry you. I'd rather tell you when everything is done. When I've, I just, I, I like doing stuff by myself. I don't like putting my problem on someone else's, on someone else. Do you know what I mean? Everyone has their own way of doing stuff, but that's me in general. He's called yesterday. There he is on the phone the other day. Sorry. He's sitting up and he's, he's paying attention now. That's no fair. That means you've got him worried for nothing. Well, it seems to be working. Hello, John son. Yes, I got your message. I just went out for a wee bit of fresh air there. Thought it might do me some good. No, I just seem to have tired myself out. <laughs> Jack? Yes, Jack's here. How? He wants to speak to you. Come on. Get it up, you Victor. I am not telling any lies for you. Here he is. <laughs> Hello, John. Uh -huh. Aha. Well, yeah, yeah, it's not great, as I know. No. But he's got me sure. Aye. Aye. I'll make sure he gets a right good rest. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. That's a smashing idea, son. That's what to do, aye. Fo phone tomorrow. O okay. Right, yard, Johnny boy. See you later now. All the. All... Boy, 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 boy. You are one big lousy bastard. I know. I feel lousy. Really lousy. <laughs> oh, how are you doing, Isa? Terrible. terrible. Do you know what that bloody spare wife says to me? Ah, uh, the spare wife. She says, you're going to hear about a birth, you're going to get lucky with money, and get this, you're going to die in thirst. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, come on, you don't actually believe that, do you? I don't know what to think. Everybody else said she was dead accurate. She's put a fear of God in me. So? How are you going to meet your maker? Knocked in my car. A silver car. Oh, wait a minute. Inside. What? I've got a silver car. Maybe I'm going to knock you down on Thursday, so I don't have to pay on Friday. <laughs> it's no funny. I get her £2.50. £2.50? For your fortune? You got a plate of scampi and all for that. Hold the bus, Isa. I think it is safe to assume that your spare wife is docking pish. Where's that? Well, scampi, eh? A big bag of that for the cash and carry will set you back about £7.99. How many of you are there? Uh, eight is. Eight portions, eh? So that's a quite a skull. Was the tartar sauce? Oh, aye. Aye, so that's another 10p, which leaves you with £1.40. £1.40? Aye, but this transport travels there and back, say £2 each way is £4. Divided by the eight people, it will is 50p. Take that away from £1.40, leaves you with 90p. So, you're telling me you queued up to pay 90 pence? to be told that you are going to pop your clogs on Thursday. <laughs> well, forgive me, Isa, but you're being a stupid cow. If you could read fortunes, would you only be charging 90 pence? Would you buggery? In fact, why don't you give me 90 pence now, and I will tell you that when you wake up in the morning, you'll be Bridget Bardo, huh? Aye, I suppose you're right, Navid. Hey, I'm going to tell you all about your life, that I'm going to tell you all about your life. I'm going to tell you all about your life. She told me, look at that. She told me you were on like a donkey. <laughs> oh my god, man. Oh. Do you know what? We don't realize Isa is such a good actor. I don't know. I'll, I, used, I, used, I used to say actress, but apparently you can I don't think you can say actress anymore. You have to say actor now. I think so. But yeah, she's so good. Like that character, yeah. Like she makes it, she makes it look like that's her personality in real life. Like if I see Isa in real life, I would have thought, oh, that's where she'd be. But obviously that's not. She's acting. She's just so good. Mina as well. You never see her face. But just when she talks, you're going to laugh. Anything Mina says, 
a Navid, come on, Navid, legend, Navid. I've actually been in that store, that exact store I've been inside, and I bought some from there. Check my Glasgow vlog if you haven't seen it. Beautiful, amazing. <laughs> Six eggs, Navid. Oh, hello, Isa. Isa, that's Noreen Kirkwood had a wee boy. Seven pounds, six ounces. <laughs> yeah, you got a wee sharp knife in the house? I do, aye, aye. Oh. Poor carrots. I'm going to cut them up. Sorry, I know I'm pausing a lot today, but again, why do people care so much about how, how much a baby weighs? The seven pounds six, six, seven pounds six ounces. Why? When someone gives birth, everyone will say, "Okay, it's a boy, it's a girl." I love that. That's beautiful. But why do I? Why do you have to tell me how much the baby weigh? I'd never understood that. Like, is there a good way? Is there bad? Like, is it good? Obviously, it's good if the baby's big, obviously. But like, why do people feel like they have to tell people how much the baby weighs? I think it's just weird. Don't you think? Up on the wee bits. <laughs> <laughs> then what you're going to do? You're going to stick them all back together again? No, I'm going to eat them. Sure, that's going to keep me off the pipe. Oh, aye, the pipe. How are you getting on with that? <sighs> Shite, actually. Couldn't get to sleep for ages last night. And then, when I eventually did drop off, dreams, you know. What kind of dreams? Pipe dreams. All that make it. Running about a tobacco field, slow motion, like that. And the field's in fire. I'm not worried. I just lie down, fill my lungs like that. <laughs> Those wee carrots are going to save you, are they? Ah, uh, well, let's hope so. Ah, I'll be mad, John. <laughs> what are you doing? Just getting into character. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hello, John? You're what? Half an hour, you say? Right? Okay, bye. Jack. What? That was John. He's at the airport. He's here. He's going to be here in half an hour. I bloody tell you. Tell me what? Putting on that performance in the phone, look at what you've done. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Don't drag me into it. I'm doing no, a hole here. Aye, you're doing a hole, but you dug it yourself. Giving it all that. Oh, I'm gonna go and lie on the couch with a hot water bottle. I'm no well. <laughs> you bought the boy into a frenzy and now he's here. Right, right. You open the door. Aye. And you say, You're too late. Your dad's deed. That's utter shite. <laughs> he's only just off the phone to you. Why? He says he'll be here in half an hour. What have I do? Open the door and say, Oh, hello, John. In you come. Oh, by the way, your dad died ten minutes ago. <laughs> ah, you're right. It's garbage, Jack. <laughs> You think of something. How have I think of something? You were the last one that spoke to him. You probably laid it on too thick. You're to blame. Oh, that's right. I'm to blame. I. I'm going to accept that. In fact, here's what we'll do. I'll get an iron brew bottle, right, and batter your bastard melt in me. <laughs> then you will be ill when he comes to the door. What a bloody spot you've got us into. What are you doing, but? <laughs> How does this sound? What's up with you? What for a ten of it? But geez, that's bad. What's bad about finding it? Ah, the spare wife. First the birth, now the finding of the money, eh? Huh? I'm going to get killed by car on Thursday. Now, Isa, calm your beans. It's a coincidence. I oh, know. You're not going to die on Thursday. Just take it easy, eh? Put it to the back of your mind and don't let your life be ruled by such silliness. You think? Aye. Oh, oh I'm just being daft, haven't I? Aye. Aye. But, you know, just in case, huh? Maybe I should uh, pop this in the window, eh? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody ha! Huh? <laughs> Great tin of grapes. Aye, just there. Aye, right, eh? What is it? People's friend. People's friend. Oh, and I need the uh, Lucas Aid and the uh, Paracetamol. Thank you. Uh, 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 you okay, Jack? Wait, does Lucas Aid actually work when you're sick? Cause I remember as a kid, my granddad, whenever I'm feeling a little bit sick, oh, God, God rest his soul, he used to give me Lucas Aid. Does that, did that actually help? Cause it's a fizzy drink, isn't it? So does that 
I'm guessing it does some somehow. Do you guys ever ever use Lucas when you're younger? Anyone ever use Lucas when they're sick? Let me know. Does it actually work? Hey, me, I oh, what a bloody day I'm having. Uh, I've keyed up the pipe, you know. Well, it's good for you. Uh, I'm not on jangly way, but you know. Oh, no, I'm sure that'll pass. I'm sure it will. Now, if I ask you for tobacco under no circumstances, you'll be able to let me have it, OK? Understood. Doesn't matter how much I want it. Doesn't matter how much you want it. I've not to get it. You've not to get it. Begging, pleading, shouting and bawling, doing on my knees and everything, I have not to get tobacco. No tobacco. Yeah. OK. See you later. I'll take a packet of tobacco. <laughs> now, Vete! Come on, Jack, seal's a seal. <laughs> oh, you big seal. bastard, you. You'll always be here for you, Jack. <laughs> Jack! Who's that? It's your son, John. Came to visit you. Dad? Bastard. <laughs> It's It's good. <laughs> Come closer, son. Let me see you. Ah, oh, you're getting old. Just like your dad. How is your flight, son? Oh, never mind that. How are you? You know. What a bastard. Jack! What? Can I get a wee cup of tea? Aye. Hi. Jack, could you run us up a wee play of sandwiches and all? What do you want on them? Cheese. Could you grate it, but? <laughs> grate it? Put a wee bit of onion through it. Onion? And ranch and pickle. Pickle, right? Right. Hello, Mr Ingram. You wish to apply for attendance allowance? For my fit. You take fits? No, <laughs> for my foot. What's wrong with it? It's knackered. What do you mean? It's sore it's when I walk, it's sore when I'm sleeping. It's just sore all the time. Right, and you want us to give you extra money for that? Yes. Well, we'll need a doctor's report. Of course. That won't be a problem. Of course it won't. What do you mean, of course it won't? <laughs> well, as I can see from your file, it's one of the things you excel in, claiming. In 1992, you claimed for a new cooker and a new fryer because you said two big men came in, tied you up and stole them. That's right. That was horrible, that. Right, and then last year you claimed a laundry allowance because of incontinence due to a motorcycle accident. Yes, yes, that's quite correct. I, I was on the sidecar of my mate Phil's uh, motorcycle and we had an oil patch and boof! That was it. It came away and I shat myself. <laughs> that was me after that. I just got into the way of it. I've been doing it ever since. I've got a big nappy on right now. <laughs> so this claim, to be honest, is a bit of a letdown. Eh? Hey? It's not very imaginative, is it? I do have a bad foot. I don't think you do. Well, darling. How would you like to get your tongue in between those tootsies? Get that off my desk. I'll just get your form. <laughs> Still haven't seen it. There's no stain with you then. No, it was checked yourself into one of the big hotels in the tune. Why don't you just come clean and tell them you've been acting a bloody good? That will be right. You go off his nut, Jack. So when are you seeing them again? It's going to pop up later. Anyway, I think he's a chance to get a pint. <laughs> ha! Dad? Oh. <laughs> what am I doing here, Jack? Eh? Eh, uh, I, I thought we could see if we could maybe manage a wee pint. With all due respect, Jack, I think my dad should be in the house. Uh, John's right, Jack. I should be in the house. <laughs> no, that's a lot of nonsense, Victor, sure. You better come near the world of good. I'll come with you. Excuse me, Dad. Jack. Hello? It's a hotel. My visa number, right? What would he? Eh, uh, go for a pint. But everyone in the clansmen will be wondering what's wrong with me. Uh, OK, paint. Aye, aye, aye. Take your feathers out of there. Hey, I'll just stand here for a wee minute. Catch my breath. It's off a smoky in there, Jack. I'll wait with you there. 
Right, I'll, I'll wait another then. <laughs> oh, eh. Uh, no, I'm not going anyway. I'll, I'll get in the pub. <laughs> Here, listen. Oh, Tam, Eric, Shh, Bobby, Victor, no well at all. What's wrong, man? Nothing. Huh? Who's coming up from South Africa because Victor's made out he's no well? What's he doing that for? He just is. Victor's laying it on thick, crinkle cut crisps. That's what I like along with my beer. So three lagers, please, and the, the crisps. Let's get your seat there. Come on. Aye. Beer, Victor? Are you sure? I could get you a wee lemon tea or a hot chocolate, seeing as you're no well. You got a toilet in here. <laughs> oh, I'm in a terrible attack of the thirst here, Bobby. I'll have a pint of lager, please. Victor's buying. <laughs> hey, otherwise I'll go to that cludgy and start blabbering. You rat! I'll have one and all. Tom. You know me, Victor, I like you, but it's sticky in. Single malt <laughs> buys my silence. Right, you bastards! <laughs> Jack, do you think he's buying it? Oh, I don't know, Victor. He looks a wee bit suspicious to me. Here's what I'll do. I'll take a fall. Oh, I, I did that. Oh! You're doing it, bloody clown. Would it not be better if he'd seen you doing it? <laughs> right, I will cue you to fall, right? <clears throat> Hold it. Hold it. That's you. Oh! Nah, false alarm, that's not him. That'd be good. That's you. Hey! Oh! Oh, fallen! Oh, the indignity! Jags, I. My hip! Finished. Hi. There's nothing wrong with you, is there, Dad? No. Give us your keys. Oh. Keys. I'll see you back at the flat. Trouble, Victor. Trouble. That'll be five pounds sixty for your drinks, Mr. Brando. <laughs> Brand, is that the ah? Is that like a? That's an actor, isn't it? That's an action movie action actor. That sounds familiar, like an action guy. I think because the third was acting, maybe that's Brand. Is that where the joke comes from? I think so. If it is, then that's a good joke. I think. Ah, now, doctor, give it to me straight. I can take it. I'm a man. Are they going to have to hack it off? <laughs> Yes. What? Oh. You really should have come to you as much sooner with this. Eh? There's been no circulation in that foot for far too long. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> oh. Give to me straight. Silver car. <laughs> You're standing there waiting on it. I couldn't move. Ah, I'll tell you what, I'll give that spray wipe for juice. She's bloody good. But that's it. It's over now. I think you're in the clear. <laughs> John! John! No, Dad, forget it. John! Nothing wrong with you now, is it, Dad? God's sake, hold on! Nah. Look, stop right there. I'm very angry at you right now, Dad. I know, I know. I'm way out of line. Out of line? I flew over here worried sick. For what? For nothing. There's absolutely nothing wrong with you. I know, I know. Do you not think I've got better things to be getting on with than travelling over here for a joke? For a prank? Listen, son, I'm busy. I'm at a very important part of my career right now. I'm sorry. Oh, it's a bad way to behave. I've been stupid. I'm a 
Silly old bastard. You know what? I don't let my career get into my family. Nope. 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 I've seen that happen so many times. I've seen people die. And then once they're dead, your job doesn't give a fuck about you. Sorry for cursing. Sorry. This gets in. This, this probably... That moment. That moment right there. Again, we laugh and everything. But when it's serious, it's serious. Do not let your family... Don't, don't put your family aside. Never do that. Never, ever do that. I always make time for my family. I might not call my family every single day for every two three days i'm actually i'm chanting my brothers this is every single day we got a group chat but i might not call my dad a mom every single day but i'm chanting them like every two three days never let walk i don't care if you're the ceo of the biggest company in the world never because family comes first you might get jobs comes in here and there you might lose your job tomorrow you might anything anything can happen but your family would always be there okay never forget that never ever forget that my family is number one to me i don't care I do not care. That's just me. Let's go. But you, you never bloody phone. I'm on my own here. Apart from Jack, I've named did, did you know that Jack took me with him to Canada a few weeks back there? Canada? I see you didn't even know that, did you? No. No. I mean, did it ever occur to you that I might be missing you? I mean, all this... I'm sorry. I'm missing you. What like was Canada? Smashing! Aye. Oh, I love their grub. Full of big fatties. <laughs> How does this sound, eh? We'll all come over this summer. Spend some time together. Aye, aye. No, no, no. We'll come over. I'll book it when we get back to the house. I mean it. I'll know what you're doing. Really? Aye. You guys all right, are you? Aye, aye. Aye, I've said my sorries, Jack, aye. Aye, we're good. And that right, John? Brand new, Dad. Yeah, glad to hear it. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> Back the pay! Again, it's just, just finishing on that. It's the fact that we keep forgetting. We're getting older, yeah? I feel like anyone that's parent, anyone that's still lucky to have their parents, we are still, I'm lucky to have my parents. I'm getting older every single day. I'm going to be 30 this year. I keep forgetting. As I'm getting older, my parents are getting older as well. We, we always forget that. We're like, oh, we're busy, we're busy. They're getting older as well. So the time when you feel like, oh, I finally made it. Okay, I'm, I'm comfortable now financially, whatever. Then they're gone. So all those years, you you, you know, those all those years you were chasing your money, da, 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 da. You could have been spending, making memories. Like all these little time. Every time I go home to my mom or dad, I just, I leave everything aside. I just literally, I, sometimes I spend like three, four hours, just me and my mom just chatting, shy to my mom, just talking. Because them little moments, it means so much to them. Because no matter how old you get, you're still a baby. I could be 50, 60. To my mom, I'll always be a baby. I'll always be a child. And to them, it just means so much. Sometimes, I might not even have a clue what my mom is trying to but I'm just there like smiling. Because that, that moment just means so much to them. And also, we, I feel like when it comes to men, especially with dad and sons, we're so scared to you know, talk about our feelings sometimes. Which is okay, which is normal. You know, but... My dad might not come and say, oh, it, oh, you know, Eddie, you know, I really love you, I really miss you. But it does things to make me know that he loves me. Him just checking up on me, how am I, is everything okay, that kind of stuff. That's showing love. It doesn't have to tell me, oh, hello, hello, ah, I really love you, I really miss you. You don't have to do that because men are different. You know, women like to, you know, keep our feelings in sometimes. But women are more like, more likely to say that. But once you understand each people, each person and how they go, everything's grand. So check on your mom, check on your dad, go visit them. That one hour, that half an hour you spend on the phone with them, it means a lifetime to them. Because they might not have anyone else with them for the whole day. Again, this is probably going to be a long, long reaction. But I really, really, this is probably one of my favorite ones so far. It's really, it's funny, and just so much lessons in this, and I'm really, really enjoying it. Let's continue. Eep! I know. Well, there's a hell of a lot going on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so John's coming over in the summer with the family? Come here. I am indeed. Not much smashing. <laughs> what are you laughing at? 
Oh, I can't wait to see their faces when I tell them they're not going to Disney World. They're going to Craig Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Disney World. The council's just repainted all the swings in the park. Yeah. I'll buy a nice boat and a vids. Mm. It's a new Greg's opening the high street. <laughs> Disney World's a play out. Yeah, yeah. steak store. <laughs> So John busted you right there in the Klansman. Aye. That's a shame. I'm sorry I missed that. Some state of affairs, isn't it, Winston? Pish. The way I see it, I've been lucky. It could have been my lungs. I, I was doing 80 fags a day, senior service to. No asking about with your poofy silkies. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? You never think that when you're lighting up, that one day they might have to hack a limb off you, but that's what's happened. Anyway, what's been happening with yous? Jack's back in the pipe. Oh, good, aye. Aye. Yeah. Hard to imagine you without it. Oh, aye, the guy in the bed at the end of the wall. Wants to buy my slippers off me. You've heard that, aye. Aye. For every <laughs> arsehole in the ward. Right, well, uh, we'll away and let you get a rest, Winston. Aye, let me get a rest. Wait, cos he's, he's, uh, he's getting his leg, not chopped up, but you know, amputated. The other geese. They're making a joke. Someone's gonna buy sleepers off you. See, I like the I like the fact that you should be able to make this kind of jokes. This is like God forbid it does happen to me. I need you guys to make make jokes. Obviously, don't be like every single moment, but just because I'm already depressed about it. Not depressed. I'm the kind of person. Even if I get my legs act off, I'll still be as happy as Larry. Because I'm happy. I'm, I'm alive. That's all I need. You know. But yeah, it's so good to see our friends are around you, no matter what you're going through, and they just see your real friends. That's really good. There you are, sweetheart. Well, oh, there's a bit of company for you, Mr. Ingram. Winston, is that you? What a sweet you doing in here. Never mind that, the news. Wait till I tell you what Nurse. happened to me, Winston. Nurse. Nurse. <laughs> Nurse. <laughs> Imagine, he couldn't move as well. Oh my god. That was unbelievable. I absolutely enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed that. As you guys know, I'm really loving the Scottish culture. It's just, I don't know, I just, I just fallen in love with it over the last few weeks. I've been to Scotland like three, four times the last four weeks. The, the first time I didn't go to Scotland in a month was last week. I just needed a break because, again, I'm going to Dubai this week. But, yeah, I can't wait to uh, do the journey of uh, traveling through different islands in Scotland. The first one I said earlier is Isle of Aran. 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 Yeah, all right. But yeah, I've checked out loads of stuff. I have to book my accommodation. It's very tough to get accommodation. It's very, very expensive. But I'm looking into that. I'm also looking... I've literally, I found out something called a botty. I guess it's a very Scottish botty. It's like a little gaff where you go into... There's no running water or nothing like that. But you can just stay there. It's like a little... That's interesting. That's so, so cool. I would love actually running there. Probably stay there for one night. That would be so cool. But yeah... Again, this channel, is the direction it's going is where I'll still be doing a few reactions here and there, comedy reactions, and I'll still be doing vlogs, discovering mainly Scotland. Just so many islands, so many places, something I really am interested in. And yeah, uh, let me know if you guys are interested in following the journey with me. I'd love that. If you're not, um, try. You never know, you might like it. Like, comment, subscribe. Please, please subscribe. Check out the Patreon. I'll be making sure I post exclusive stuff on the Patreon. You're going to see some behind the scene of me in dubai make sure you subscribe you're following me on uh, instagram you're following me on tiktok it's along the link below in my description i'll see you guys very soon bye bye